don't think I've ever seen you with any facial hair. I have not seen you with any either. (laughs) For almost two decades, Sam Merrill was a fixture on TV5 newscasts. Katie's giggling. Until his unexpected death in 2016. He left behind his son James and his wife Katie. I'm so thankful for everyone in the community who has reached out, supported um, James and myself and our families. Katie Merrill says her husband had a passion for his family his community, and baseball. That trio came together to honor Sam's memory at the North Saginaw Township Little League ball fields. His son James, shovel in hand, moved some dirt at the groundbreaking for the Sam Merrill Memorial Pavilion today. The structure will have a concession stand, restrooms, and a covered patio area. Oh my gosh, he would be so humble, so appreciative. Um, He would... He would be so thankful. Of course, construction of the pavilion is expected to be completed in five months, but that is not stopping James here from doing his part. It was hard. The pavilion will soon be a reality thanks to donations from individuals, businesses, and foundations throughout the community. Thank you. Gary Fondrick organized the fundraiser for the pavilion to pay homage to his good friend, Sam Merrill. James was getting ready to start in his first uh, uh, Little League event uh, the the spring uh, after Sam passed away, so he never got a chance to see him play. So now I think he can look down and, and of course, you can see James play now, but he'll also be able to see how the community really rallied around him. You may recognize it from our uh, Christmas special. Now, like this video, Sam Merrill's legacy will live on in another way, a pavilion that bears his name. He did not know what he meant to this community. He really didn't. He didn't know how how far he really uh, reached everybody, but um, I think that it's it's proven that you know he really did reach everyone. Reporting in Saginaw County, James Felton, WNEM, TV5.